Hello. The message of enthronement we are about to watch is a message preached by my amiable wife, Pastor Mrs. Former AZ. You know the word of God says day unto day, utter a speech and night after night revealeth knowledge. The entrance of God's word give a light and a supply of understanding to the simple. I believe as you view and as you watch, the word of God will penetrate your heart and give you inheritance among the sanctified. Please stay tuned, watch from your heart, and one word anointed by God will change your life forever. Happy viewing. Let's read together Acts of the 9, verse 36. The Bible says, Now there was a Joppa, a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works. Somebody say, full of good works. She was full of what? Good works and alms deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. Whom when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. And for as much as Lida was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber. And all the widows stood by him, weeping and showing them the coats and the garments which Jokas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed. And turning him to the body, said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. And he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, he presented her alive. That will be your testimony. Because after now, anything that is dead in your life, in your destiny, in your marriage, in your ministry, it shall come back to life in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout the believers, amen. amen. That shall be your testimony after today in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, amen. amen. Psalm 49 verse 20. Psalm 49 verse 20. The Bible says, man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perish. Man that is in honor. Somebody put your name where there is man. Pastor, if a man that is in honor and understandeth it not, is like the beast that perish. And there is no beast in the house this morning. Somebody say, I am no beast. Rather, I am in honor. Praise the Lord. Lastly, Proverbs 31 verse 10. Proverbs 31 verse 10. The Bible says, who can find a virtuous woman? For her prize is far above rubies. This very morning, as I share God's word with you, titled, Becoming a Person of Exceptional Value. Becoming a Person of Exceptional Value. In your book, if you're a man, please, can you help me write, Becoming a Man of Exceptional Value. And because today is women's convention, I like women to also write, Becoming a Woman of Exceptional Value. My topic is Becoming a Person of Exceptional Value. Can I tell you, people of God, that you we are created for more. You were made for more. God speaking to Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah 1 verse 5 said, Before I formed thee, I knew thee. I knew you were full of stuff. I knew you were loaded. I knew you were packaged. I knew you were very, 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 very anointed. I knew that you were intelligent. I knew that you would make good money here on earth. Before I formed thee, I knew that because of you, people will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Before I found thee. I knew that you would be a trailblazer, a pace setter, a generational cost breaker. I knew these things before you were born. Never allow anyone or anything make you feel less of who you are in Christ Jesus. You are more. 
You are not just rubies, but you are what? More than rubies. Don't let anyone tell you less of who you are. Don't allow anyone to look down on you. They may have called you names, but like Papa said, that whatever they have said is only their opinion. But it is only God who will give you the definition of your life. You are much more than this. Your situation notwithstanding. Whether there is money in your account or not, you are much more than this. Whether you came from a house where the landlord was threatening you this morning, you are much more than this. Whether people are, 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 are calling you on the phone and sending you threat messages because you are owing them, believe me, you are more than this. Because you are not your situation. Neither are you your condition. Neither are you your current residence. In a time not long from now, people who used to think that they know you they will come back to your address and check but alas alas they will discover that you have moved on that be because they knew your former address does not mean they know your destination they can know your former address but they, there is no way for them to know where you are heading to because where God is taking you is far beyond the Bible says eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered the heart of men what God has packaged for you can I shock you this morning as long as you are alive there is hope as long as you are alive there is still a future for you as long as there is your life there is a tomorrow that is greater than your today don't allow people to look at you and assume that because you are here now you remain there forever they might have seen your yesterday but nobody has seen your tomorrow that is why the Bible says, eyes have not seen. Micah said in, his, in the word of God, he said, rejoice not against me, O ye my enemies. <laughs> For I have sat in darkness, but very soon I will sit in my light. Don't rejoice over me because you know my past. Don't rejoice over me because you know my pain. I am in honor and I know it. Your current situation, your current predicament, your current bank account balance is not a description of who you are. The Bible said in Psalm 49 verse 20, a man in honor, a woman in honor, who does not know it, is like a beast that perish. You cannot perish, oh, because you know. You are in charge. You are beautifully made. You are powerfully made. Can I tell you that you are the apple of God's eyes? What the word of God says about you is all that matters. What the word of God has announced about your destination is all that matters. People may say what they want to say. They may feel what they want to feel. But God's word is a standard for your life. As long as God has not said anything negative about you, you have no worries. You have no challenge. Because you are the king, the son or the daughter of the king of kings. Not just a king, but the king of all kings. Not just a lord, but the lord of all lords. If you know who you are, the way you talk will be different. When somebody asks you, how are you? You will no longer say, I'm broke. Oh, I just they manage you. you. When they say, how are you? Say, better than before. Because you knew me yesterday, there is no way you know where I'm going to. When they look at you and ask you, how body? Say, the body is fat and flourishing. Eh? It is fat and flourishing. See, believe me when I tell you that talkers are people who God loves because our God is a speaking God. The Bible says, this word of faith we believe, therefore we speak. If you do not believe it, you will not speak it. If you must become a person of exceptional value, you must first and foremost value yourself. Because if you don't value yourself, you cannot give value. Ah, if you do not eat plantain, can you for me plantain? If you do not eat indomie, can you vomit indomie? You can only vomit what you have eaten. If you must become a person of exceptional value, number one, you must value yourself. You must love yourself. The Bible speaking says, Jesus speaking, he said, that we should love our neighbors as we love ourselves. The, way, the reason why people treat you badly is because number one, they don't even love themselves. So how would they give you the love they don't have? That is why when, when you want to feel bad, remember, ha, if this person can look at me and call me that bad name, she must she no love herself. If this man can look at me and tell me that, oh, he does not love himself, just excuse their behavior. I said what? Excuse their behavior. It is not really your fault. When people call you names, look at yourself and remember the son of who you are. Remember the daughter of who you are. 
brag about the king of kings. See, I don't know what other people are saying, you know. I don't know what other religions they are coming from. But our God is the only one that left heaven, made himself a man, came here, died and resurrected. And he's coming back again. Other ones, they have their tombs. But you can never find the tomb of Jesus. Because he does not exist. He is no longer dead. The angel said, why are you looking for the living among the dead? It is impossible to look for the living among the dead. Somebody say, I'm alive. And I serve a living God. Say, I'm alive. And I serve a living God. No wonder Jesus, when he came on this earth, in the book of Acts 10 verse 38, it said, and God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. With the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good. Can I translate that verse? He, he went about adding value. Wherever he entered, something happened. Wherever, whichever home he entered, things changed. If he came to a person who was dead, the person rose from the dead. If he came to a person who was sick, the person recovered automatically. If he came to somebody who was poor, the person became rich. He came to Peter. Peter did not have silver. He did not have gold. <laughs> God said, go to this river and catch a fish. Inside the mouth of the fish, you'll find money. Why do I know so? Because he is the king of kings. He is the lord of lords. He is the master of the universe. He is the I am that I am. He is the Ehueme of this generation. Somebody lift up your hands and say, Lord, I love you. The Bible said he went about doing good. And if he is a doer of good, then we too are good doers of what? Of good. That is why I am about to preach on a topic that says becoming a person of exceptional value. Somebody shout, I hear. Paul speaking to, uh, to Timothy in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 11. He said, only Luke is with me. But when you see Mark, anyhow, anyhow, if you jam Mark on the road, if you by mistake, eh, see Mark, tell Mark that he should come. Because only Mark is very profitable for me in ministry. 2 Timothy 4 verse 11. He said he is very what? Profitable for me in ministry. What do we call that value? Who is somewhere worried that you are not currently with him or her? Who is somewhere disturbed that you are not currently where they want you to be? Somebody say value. If you must be a person of exceptional value, you must have something to offer. You must have something to give to this world. You must have something to give to your family. You must have something to give in your marriage. You must have something to give in your company. You must have something to give in your neighborhood. Don't be that kind of person that when you travel, everybody begins to say, praise the Lord. When you leave the office for your sabbatical leave or for your annual leave, everybody begins to thank God. Ah, thank God this person is not. Be that kind of person that when you want to leave, you are just announcing that you are about to take just a short break. In a week time, everybody's already missing you because of what you carry. The Bible says you are beautifully made. You are too loaded not to be needed in this generation. I don't know who has looked at you and, 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 and talked rubbish about your destiny, but you are too loaded. Believe me when I tell you, because the God we serve does not create empty things at all. How do I know? Look around. Look at the person close to you. The God that created that person close to you, do you think that that God is a, do, does any mistake? There are no mistakes with God. He is a God who took time and okay, you, through his architectural prowess, created you and made you this beautiful. Without lacking any single detail. Without forgetting any part of your body. That God is an exceptional God. Somebody shout, I hear. Be that kind of person. That when you are not in a place, your absence is seriously felt. Because if your absence is not felt, then your presence was not needed in the first place. Become a person of what? Exceptional value. In your marriage, add value. May you not be the kind of person that gets married to somebody. And because you are married to the person, the person begins to fall down the drain. May the person begin to climb. The Bible says the path of the just is like a shining light that shines what? Brighter and brighter. Second year brighter. Third year brighter. 
40 years brighter, 50 years brighter, 10 years brighter, 15 years brighter. By the time the person gets to 50th anniversary, the person can look back and say, I lived a good life and I made the right choice because the person got married to someone who can give value. The theme of our convention is more than rubies. Rubies in itself is precious. Rubies in itself is beautiful. But we are not just rubies. We are more than rubies. Who can find the woman who is virtuous? Who can find the man who is faithful? They are truly what? More than rubies. It was the late Mouse Munro who said that if you want to be successful in life, do not seek success. Seek to become a person of value. If you can give something, the world will come chasing after you. If you can give something, I, I tell even young ladies who are not yet married, improve on yourself. Keep working on yourself. Because when one right person, not the, not the, not the money miss roads and the fake ones and all those loafers, when the right person meets you, he will taste value. And he will never leave you forever. Because you have something to offer. Don't be the one that offers only makeover and makeup. That, that, that should not be the only thing you can offer. The moment water splashes on your face, there is trouble everywhere. Don't be the one. Don't, that, that should not be the only thing. I, I, I see people of friends, they say slay, slay queens and pepper them gang. Who wants pepper? Who wants pepper? Stop preparing them gang anything. Nobody wants pepper. Slay queens. Men are running for their lives because many of the other men have been slain already. Who wants to be slain? Offer value. When we got married, we were not slaying anything. We were just loving God, chasing after God and improving on ourselves. And when the men of our life saw us, they loved us. They knew we had something to offer. The only things we are slaying were Goliaths and big mountains. Not slaying men everywhere. Honestly, it is time we have a generational mindset. Everything you see on social media is not for you. Look and pass. You must not comment on everything. If you are there, Papa would always tell us, if you are there, stay there as an arbiter between humanity and divinity. Stay there and make sure that you are contributing value. Let people come to your world because there is something you have to give to them. Offer value. Tap somebody and tell the person you are more than rubies. Say it with some conviction. Say it with some conviction. Say you are more than rubies. Papa would always tell us something that you are rewarded when you become a problem solver on this earth. When you solve the problems of humanity, humanity remembers you. There are people who are dead, yet they are speaking because the problems they solved are still valuable. Be the kind of person that will be ever relevant. Not just laying on social media, but being ever relevant. My heart cry, the cry of my spirit each day is that I may make an indelible mark upon the sands of time and on the hearts of men. Not just on the sands of time, but in the hearts of men. May people remember me for the problems I have solved, for the value I have given, for the content I generated, and for the compassion I gave out to people who do not have any power to repay me. That is my life cry. The people in your house, what are they benefiting? The people who know you, what are they getting from you? Men and women of value are the men and women who we call successful today. If you have nothing to give, nobody comes around you. More than rubies is not a shout hallelujah and shout amen kind of thing. If you must be more than rubies, you must possess something that others do not possess. What do we call knowledge? Knowledge is a combination of two words. Know and edge. Simple. If you know, you will have an edge over. That's just it. If you know better than others, you will have an edge over others. What you know that I do not know is what makes you a superior to me what you know what i know that you don't know is what makes me superior all over you so it is important that we know something the world will not remember you for what you collected they will remember you for what you gave 
I am not against you having 11 children that can be sufficient for a football team. But after you are done with 11 children, please live for something. Please give this generation something to remember you by. Because if you must be a person of exceptional value, you must give something. Somebody shout hallelujah. Jesus gave good wherever he went to. The Bible said that he was anointed. How God anointed Jesus of, Christ, of Nazareth? That he was full with power. He went about doing good. He went about healing all that we are oppressed because God was with him. If you can pretend to forget him for just a season, but when your problem comes knocking back at the door, you know one man who hears God directly, who will not speak until God speaks to him. You, come, you cry coming back to him. Why? Because he has what? The value that you need. Joke with him and joke with your destiny. He's one man dangerously anointed by God. And not only anointed by God, he's one man who loves the Lord passionately. Men of value are men who are transgenerational in nature. They carry something and they have something to give. Bill Gates is remembered today because of what? Microsoft and all the problems he's been solving and his humanitarian works all over Africa. Mark Zuckerberg made the world a global village. Today you can transact business with people you have not seen ever before. On Facebook you have friends who may even be real friends who you have never met before. Who can help you, who can assist you. Because one man called Mark Zuckerberg had added value. He was still a teenager when he achieved this great feat. And now the world cannot do without him because he's what? Adding value. Do you know he has bought up Instagram and he has bought up WhatsApp? So if Mark Zuckerberg gets angry, if he just gets angry and seizes Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, the world will return back to two centuries before because of just one man. That is value. If your government say they don't like her, another government will grab her. Another continent will come looking for her. Madam, I beg. We here say, Nigeria people say, I beg. We too, we are saying, I beg. Asian continent, come and work for us. Why? Because of value. A woman like you and I. She also gave birth to children, no excuse. She also had menstrual flow every month. No excuse. And is suffering menopause. No excuse. Every day you are carrying here. You are carrying here. And stop crying. You know? Stop. That is not all that your life is made for. You were created for more. You may not like her style. But the woman is seriously loaded and needed. You may not like her low cut. But it's nobody's business. She is in the major boards of big or corporate uh, organizations because of value. What of Ibukun Awashika? That woman with her stylish gray hair. When you see her with gray hair, you feel like having gray hair prematurely. The woman is loaded. A woman who is standing where only men stand. A woman of value. What of Olorunsho Alakija? The woman who put Africa in a beautiful light became the richest black woman from Nigeria. Richest black woman from Nigeria. A country where they are still calling us, is it underdeveloped or developing nation? Yet, she put our map in a very beautiful place. Why? Because of value. Can I tell you that most of these women, they start from the top. Papa would always tell us that anything that starts from the top is what? Grave digging. It is only grave. When you want to dig grave, you start from the top and you start digging it down. But anything that must grow into something phenomenal must start from down and grow up. Can I tell you to develop a gift today? Develop a skill. Develop value in your life. So that people will pay anything to find you. So that people will pay anything for you to offer that value that you carry. People are attracted to value. People are attracted to success. If you did not think that there is any blessing for you in Zion Heritage, you won't be here. 
If you did not think that, that man, marrying that man will be beneficial to your life and destiny, you wouldn't have married the person. Life, every, your decisions in life, the things that you do or do not do are basically a measure of what? Value. Anything you value, you give it time. I believe you've been blessed by that word of enthronement that came your way. Suddenly in my heart, I believe that your life will never be the same again. In case you're out there, you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Quickly, I would like you to chant this prayer. Say, dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I come to you. I come to you. A sinner. A sinner. I confess. I confess. From today. From today. I receive you. I receive into you. Into my life. Into my life. As my Lord. As my Lord. And personal Savior. And personal Savior. Never to sin again. Never to sin again. Congratulations. Amen. You are now sanctified, blood bought, and anointed for exploit. Amen. I want to speak specially to those who listen to the word of God. I declare by the mercies of God. Yes. That every yoke of limitation in your life is broken. Amen. I speak that the land where you are will not deny you your treasure. Amen. I declare when it is your time to be blessed, it will not be negotiated. Amen. I decree by the mystery of the word of God, yes. may you have access to divine inheritance. Amen. I declare healing to your body. Amen. I declare fruitfulness to everybody's situation. Amen. Receive grace for financial empowerment. Amen. Go and excel. Amen. Subdue the land. Amen. Manifest dominion. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you for watching the message of Enthronement. And I believe that miracles are already happening in your life Hallelujah. right now. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to follow us on Facebook and on other social platforms. You can see the links scrolling on your screen right now. And the headquarters of the church is located at Zion Heritage and Miracle Ministries of Voice of Nigeria Way, Blue Way Airport Road, Abuja. And we have uh, so many other branches. The branches and their addresses will also be scrolling on your screens right now. So stay connected with us and remain lifted for life.